All right, so welcome back. Today in this video, we're gonna be looking at some more water resources and environmental engineering um, practice problems. In this specific video, we're gonna be focusing on flood control. So this is part uh, E of um, this section. And so let's go ahead and dive into some of the practice problems. All right, so number one, says using the rational method, calculate the peak discharge for uh, a, a catchment area of, of 100 acres, a rainfall intensity of four inches per hour, and a runoff coefficient of 0 0.6. Okay, so what information are we given? We're given catchment area. We are given the rain all intensity we are given the runoff coefficient all right <clears throat> and then we are asked to find peak whoa it's not how you spell peak peak discharge all right uh and it should be using the rational method okay so i don't know what the rational method is Let's see if i can rational method i'm searching rational method in my be handbook all right rational 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 Three things come up. Rational formula, rational method. Okay. Uh, Q, which is peak discharge. Okay. So that seems like what I'm trying to find, right? And then C is my runoff coefficient. I'm given that. Perfect. Do I have I? Rainfall intensity in inches per hour. I'm given the rainfall intensity in inches per hour. So I have that. And do I have A? Watershed catchment area in acres. So yes. All right. So I have everything that I need. So I know that I'm using Q is equal to C I A. C is equal to um, 0 0.6 I is equal to the rainfall intensity, which is four inches per hour. And then a is equal to, uh, 100 acres. Let's see here. Okay. So also it's important to note that if I have my area in acres, right and i have my runoff coefficient it's just a number and then my rainfall intensity is in inches per hour my my peak discharge is going to spit come out in cubic feet per second so just something to note all right so q is equal to c i a q is equal to 0 0.6 times 4 inches per hour times 100 acres and now i know my q is equal to 240 cubic feet per second r d hey everybody i know i didn't take time to formally introduce myself at the beginning so I did want to let you know who I am and how I can best serve you as you're studying for your civil FE exam. So my name is James Huntley and I am a civil engineer who has helped hundreds of individuals pass and dominate their civil FE exam. Now I know this test is tough and as you're going through material, you may be saying, uh, I don't remember learning this stuff or 
gosh, these variables are so confusing. Or you just feel like you're really, really busy and there's so much material that you need to go through that it's a bit overwhelming. So I did want to let you know that I do help and work with individuals one on one to ensure that they pass their civil FE exam. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for 10 weeks. And that's the longest that it has been. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for two weeks. And we went back to back day after day after day, hours on hours on hours, putting in the work, um, working together to ensure that they went ahead and passed. Right? And this exam is so important because I know that you want to make more money. Um, I know that you want to you know, get some promotions and be able to further your career and have your PE. So definitely want to open and extend a hand out. Want to be able to save you time, right? Because I know some people that watch my videos, you may have been watching my videos for six, nine, even 12 months and you still haven't passed your civil FE exam, and that is the one thing that's keeping you from making more income, more impact, and furthering your career. So it's definitely costing you um, money, resources, everything. So looking to create more success stories, um, I am looking to work with individuals one-on-one. -on -one. I wanna hop on Zoom with you. I want you to share what you're doing, as you're solving these problems so I can spot out what you may be struggling with and open your eyes so that you're not going into this test completely blind. Now, for some of you, you may have failed a test once, twice, had some people fail five times, um, or you may be wanting to take this test initially and you just want to make sure that you pass it up front. So do have one-on-one -on -one services. I also have some uh, do-it-yourself uh, courses that if you're like, no, I got this, I got it all on my own, I know everything, or I, I'm going to take the time to study everything, I do have some resources and materials to be able to help you in that way. But my biggest fear is that you're investing in something, uh, these programs or these courses, and you know, you're not... Uh, getting back or having proper feedback to help you and to push you forward. You're just giving a bunch of information and no one's sharing with you what you may be actually struggling with or what's keeping you from passing your FE exam. So looking to create a ton of success stories. So feel free um, down in the description box below. I have a ton of resources, including one-on-one -on -one coaching. Let's hop on a call. Uh, it's no cost to you as far as, you know, us talking through your goals and what you're trying to do um, and kind of getting a feel for where you're at. Um, so have some programs where I can work with you one on one. And there's also some do it yourself courses, practice exams, study guides, resources, free material, all of that down in the description box below. So feel free to check out that stuff. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is what I do. Um, we want to get you to the next phase of your civil engineering career um, and leave a comment. If you had any questions about um, what I went through, the information that I covered um, and feel free to um, definitely schedule a call with me and I'm looking forward to creating more success stories. So. Be sure to check out this next video.